these are the topics uh, and the approximate percentage uh, that will come in a test of uh, set subject physics so we have a content here the first is mechanics so the approximate percentage of mechanics in a set physics test will be 36 to 42 percent this is almost near to the 50 percent of the test if you are very good in mechanics you can score almost 100 percent of this 50 percent of the test uh, so uh, in mechanics you have here a kinematics in kinematics uh, questions can come from um, velocity acceleration motion one dimension and motion of projectile so um, velocity we know velocity is uh, simply defined as uh, rate of change of displacement so this is dx divided by dt dx is the displacement and dt is the time so this is the velocity velocity is a vector quantity similarly acceleration is the rate of change of velocity which is dv over dt it's again a vector quantity um, so if that object which is going in one dimension let's say x here if it goes from x1 to x2 then the displacement will be x del x is simply x2 minus x1 in one dimension um, so there will be questions related to the motion of projectile so projectile motion yeah. so when we throw an object uh, with some initial velocity here making an angle with the ground um, this will hit the ground at certain distance r so this we call it the range of projectile it will cover some height when it is accelerating downward so this is h so the acceleration of projectile will be always towards the earth so there will be two components of projectile one is a x component vx one will be y component vy so there will be an acceleration in a y component but um, there wouldn't be any acceleration in x component so vx will be same throughout this journey of the projectile um, second topic will be the uh, force dynamics forces newton's law and static uh, frictions so we know forces forces defined as ma and uh, we can um, uh, we know the newton this is related to newton's second law newton's second law says that let's say we have an object if i some apply force the mass will produce an acceleration uh, the accelerator acceleration depends on the, on the amount of force you applied um, this is the second law Newton's second law first law says um, um, the object will remain in the state of rest or with the uniform motion if uh, no external force is applied to it Newton third law says every action has got equal and opposite reaction um, then there's a topic related to energy and momentum we know energy uh, two forms of momentum one is potential energy one is kinetic energy and we know that kinetic energy is simply a change in work uh, then from there we can define a power so power is simply a rate of work whereas the impulse impulse is a force applied on an object for some period of time t which is equal to the change in momentum of an object um, then a conservation laws so we have conservation laws that energy is conserved um, let's say an object is here it's and in height h it has got uh, some potential energy due to the gravitational pull of the earth so if somebody picks up this object at some height 
he has or she has to do some work which is equal to its weight time height and this is equal to gravitational potential energy if I release this object this will fall gain some uh, velocity this will fall with acceleration g which is equal to 9.8 meter per second square and the potential energy mgh will be transformed into kinetic energy which will be mv square so from there we can find the final velocity of an object then there will be a topic related to circular motion uniform circular motion and centripetal force so in order for an object to move in a circle there has to be a central force acting on an object otherwise the, an object will move in a straight line so at each point there should be a central force and this central force is centripetal force which is equal to mv squared divided by r v squared divided by r is the acceleration where r is the distance from center to the uh, object v is the linear speed of an object at distance r uh, so this is centripetal force then we have a simple harmonic motion um, examples are spring and pendulum so let's say let's take an example of a spring that is attached to some uh, mass m if I remove this mass from its some position x is equal to zero then it will come here come back and then we'll go here so um, this type of motion is a simple harmonic motion in which the object moves uh, from its uh, move about its mean position and it accelerates towards the mean position uh, similarly we have an example of a pendulum a mass attached to a thread when I displace this mass here and leave it go it will come back here reach some extreme position then it will come back here so this is again a two and four motion or vibratory motion which is simple harmonic motion 